This is me, the Undead Viking, and this is Pepper and Carrot. Pepper and Carrot is what I would consider a family game, but yeah, you know, it definitely is a challenging game for gamers as well. But this is a game I played a lot with my daughter. Uh, she saw the cover and she immediately fell in love with it. And the, uh, they were kind enough actually to send her a. a this is, I think, this is Pepper right there. Uh, the, the, I, I, you know, I guess this is. Hey everybody, this is me, the Undead Viking, and this is Pepper and Carrot. Now, this when this game box showed up at my door, my daughter saw it and was like, Oh my gosh, that cat is so cute. Uh, that's a really bad impersonation of my daughter. She's like almost 10. Very, very soon she'll be 10. And uh, um, But she was very excited when she saw that. And I have to admit, um, the, the creator of this game was kind enough to send her a stuffed animal of, of that cat, complete with the cat's carrot as well. I guess that's Pepper and Carrot. I guess this is a... Online webcomic? I have no idea. Um, I don't really keep up with those unless it's Order of the Stick. So, um, But regardless, uh, this is a game where each person is going to be trying to concoct potions. Uh, you're going to be... Uh, you're going to have a grid in front of you with all these different ingredients, and the game will allow you to modify that grid by twisting the tiles or moving around or shoving or pushing them around, and you're trying to create... Uh, put, the, put the tiles in a order that will create a potion. And the first person to create three potions is the winner of the game. So uh, let me show you how the game is played. Uh, uh, this is a fantastic game. I, I've really, really enjoyed my plays with my daughter. Uh, and then we'll come back here and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so here we go. This is Pepper and Carrot. Now, each player is going to get one of these player boards, and they are going to have these tiles put out there. Uh, those tiles are the different ingredients uh, that are going to make up the potions. Now, the, the recipes for the potions are these rows. This is a recipe for a potion. This is a recipe for a potion. And this is a recipe for a potion. Uh, each person gets one of these boards, and they have uh, their little alchemists that are over there. And each person is going to get a set of these cards with their alchemist picture on them. I've already placed those three out here, and I, I like the fox. I think that's kind of cool. That's why I picked this one. But anyway, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Um, functionally, they're all the same. Uh, these cards are going to look a lot like those up there, obviously. Uh, and uh, these, however, are your personal cards that have a one-shot effect. Otherwise, though, they are functionally the same as the cards that are up here. There is this deck of cards that are that make up these uh, actions, and then once you get through them, if um, you're, you'll shuffle up those cards and, and, and redo it the way you see it. Now, the whole point of this game is you have to be the first person to finish creating three potions. And uh, to create these three potions, you have to mimic the recipes that you see up here. And you can tell on these little tiles, uh, there are like little pathways that are on there. And so you have to like start, in this case, you'd have to start with this purple potion, then go to a bat wing, then go to this green potion, then mushrooms, then this eyeball. And if you can do that in a pathway on your board over here, then you would create that potion. The same thing goes for this one and also goes for this one. Now you can, this is, I set this up at like, the normal like like full difficulty I guess but you can make the game easier uh, like if you're playing with children and you want to give them a better shot you can have them you know you, you you could play without these like these cards these special cards and not give them to yourself um, you could play with fewer ingredients um, you know you can play this is one of those modular type games that you can kind of mess with and and go about however you want to go about it um, you could make it so like the adults had to complete these potions down here they, that's the only thing just you know so you can actually this is a really really good family game I love the artwork and my daughter really 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 liked this game and I really enjoyed playing it with her but that I'll talk about that when I get to my uh, conclusion but the way it works is this is gonna be the first action and then like after you do that you turn it over this one goes over here like this then you turn another card over like that and then you'll go through this deck and these are the three different types of actions the way you the reason why you reveal them like this is so you can plan ahead for the action that is coming up so let's just go ahead and put that one back like so and I'll show you how this works so this first action, you can see, it's a twist action. Now, as you can probably guess, you're going to choose one 
of these tiles and you're going to turn it 90 degrees to the left or to the right. And so you should take a moment to kind of look and, you know, like I said, plan ahead, see if there's something you can do. Now, I actually just put this out completely randomly. These are placed randomly and these are placed randomly as well. And you're actually instructed to have like the person to your right set up your player board for you. And, and you just put the tiles down, face down, and then you flip them up after it, that is done. So. Uh, you know, you, you have no idea what's coming, and then you put out these tiles randomly up here. Alright, so, like, if you went, like, I have to go from a, a purple to a, a bat. So, if you look, you know, I actually have a purple to a bat, and then I actually have one to a green. So, like, I've got, like, the first three steps of that. Now, the problem is, is that, you know, I don't really have a mushroom anywhere near that, uh, a combination right now but let's see what I can do and see if I can pull this off so if we do this action and mind you everybody's gonna be doing this action at the same time so if we do this action we can go ahead and we can flip we can turn this one like so all right so now we have placed so we got the first uh, three steps of this and this is where the it, it does get kind of confusing like like I found myself like twisting my head around trying to like follow these little paths when I played but it's all part of the game so I, I'm going like one two three I have three of those set up so now I'm going to close that one down I'm going to move this one over and then I'm going to flip this card over like I already did so this is a swap a trade you can take two tiles and you can trade the you know trade spots with those so not only do I need to get I have to get this this eyeball uh, like uh, you know I have to get this mushroom somehow I got to get a mushroom close to this this green potion which I'm gonna be able to do here pretty quickly I need to get an eyeball into that in, into like uh, like a close location to where theoretically my mushrooms getting up there so what I could do here is I could swap these two like so bam all right so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking ahead to the fact that I'm eventually gonna have a mushroom here but we're gonna show you how that happens so now we're gonna take this card we're gonna flip it like so move it move and then draw another one so uh, now we and so this action is a shove action and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take either a, a row or a column and you're gonna push everything one way and then take the tile that the to the end and you're gonna flip it over. Now it's important to remember that when you are trading and when you are doing the shove, that you don't change the direction of the tile uh, that you're using. So here we would go like so. So we're gonna shove like this and we're gonna place this mushroom there. Now this is all well and good, right? Um, you know, I have it all set up. I have a potion, I have a bat wing, I have my green potion, I have my mushroom, and I have my eyeball in the right spot, but unfortunately, I don't have them connected. And this is actually going to be a little tougher than I thought, but I think I, I think I figured out how I'm going to be able to pull this off. So that was my shove action. We're going to go like this, go like that, and that, and that. Now, these three cards down here can be used at any time in exchange for not using the action that is given up here. But remember, they're a one-time use. So... Here I can I can turn it right. I can turn uh, my 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 my, uh, my uh, uh, tile. So I'm going to take this because I need the mushroom to to attach. And this is kind of I'm going to have to go like this. And I didn't actually think about this pretty well. And I actually made a mistake. I didn't actually think ahead to the fact that I uh, yes I do have the first four one two three four like so, but I don't have you know the the tile in the right spot at this time. So now here's something that I, I should I should mention right now is that at the other time that anybody else is trying to figure out their potions as well, if they complete this, it's taken off the board and we actually then you know move all the, the recipes up one. And so then this this would be removed because it's gone. That one gets removed. Then these tiles and the two tiles that would be pulled off, because like this would move up and there would be no space for it, we would take these two and we would take all of those and we would shuffle them up and create a new uh, a new recipe down there. So while I'm gunning for this recipe, it's quite possible that somebody's going to beat me to it and he's gonna, they're going to take that away from me. So I've got to be quick about this. But in this case, we're just pretending like that didn't happen and I'm going to hope this works. So I, I twisted one. We're going to go like that. And hopefully I can figure something out here. So... Uh, let's see. So I need to get either this or this 
into this spot. I can't do a shove here because that isn't going to help me at all. But what I can do is I can do this. I can do the shove like so, and I can shove these like that. And we're going to do this. Now, when this comes to here, now I could do a twist, but let's say I can see another player that has that's coming up right they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get it um you know before me if i do so what i can do is i can turn this card over like so and i can do a trade and i can trade this one with that place that there and i've completed this first potion i'm going purple yellow red mushroom eyeball and i've completed this uh, potion and this would be the first of the three potions that I have to complete to win the game. And as I said, this one is going to slide up like so. We'll take this tile because it isn't used. Slide this one up like so. Take this tile because it isn't used. And then we would take these tiles, we would sh shuffle them up, and we place them down there to make another recipe. That's it. I mean, it's just, it's a puzzle to try to figure out how to move your ingredients around on your, on your board to create these potions. And the first person to create three potions first will be the winner of the game. If you do happen to have two people that on that one, the, the, the same action, they, they tie for that third potion. Uh, whoever hasn't used, uh, like whoever has the most of these cards left over, uh, like if you didn't use any of them and the other person used one, uh, you'd win because you didn't use any of your special cards. If that's a tie as well, then you just have a tied game. Uh, you know, I just really like the game. Like I said, I played a lot with my daughter. Uh, we had fun figuring out the like the little pathways and the little like planning ahead. I really like the fact that you can plan ahead and see the actions that are coming up. But you got to keep an eye on everybody else's player board too and kind of have an idea of which one of the recipes they're going for uh, so they don't take one away from you while you're working on it. But... Uh, let me talk about that, and a heck of a lot more uh, in my final thoughts. All right, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to learn how to play. It really is a very simple, uh, mechanism-wise, uh, game. Uh, it is extremely straightforward as far as what the game allows you to do. It's just that puzzle. It's it's the, the puzzle of figuring out how to move the tiles in certain directions to get those figured out. Now, you, you might think that when I set up that, that, that game board in front of you and I showed you, like, I set that up in a specific way, I just... Literally, I, I set up the game like you would normally do. I randomly put the tiles out. I randomly put the, the ingredients tiles out, and I just went for it, right? And I, you know, that was like me like puzzling that out. And I find those things very fun to do. I like being to made to feel clever. I've said that in a lot of videos where, uh, you know, that clever moment where you're like, oh, that was actually very smart of me, you know? And I like that. I like that feeling of like, oh, I, I, I got the key to move and I unlocked the door or whatever you want to call it. It's that aha moment in games. And this is a game that my daughter and I could play. And like I said, she's almost 10 now. Um, that we both had those little aha moments. And I really like, I, I played with my game group, I actually liked paying attention to what the other three people at the table were doing and seeing how close they were to getting to certain, uh, 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 like certain uh, ingredients, to certain spots that would, you know, clue them in to get the potions done and like being able to like kind of race against them and like being able to realize that okay you know i'm probably not going to beat them to that one so let's concentrate over here and get this done and, and get that moving and you know and the whole game really felt like a race and it, was, it had that wonderful tension that i'm looking for as well so on one side when i played with my gaming group it was exactly kind of what i want from a game like this that does it, it doesn't overstay its welcome you know it, it plays in about a half hour to 45 minutes uh, and it had good tension going on. Now, I mean, and you like that race. And then when I played it with my daughter, it had that nice family feel to it where we were both like had moments where we like thought we were pretty smart and clever and figuring things out, uh, like faster than the other person. So, uh, it was, it was a nice amalgamation of both of those worlds. So if you're looking for a game that could, that could, you know, fit that bill for you, I would strongly suggest you check this one out, uh, Pepper and Carrot. And if you've read the online comic, tell me about it. I suppose I could find it. I could find out. But if it's any good, let me know. Because I, like I said, I haven't read it or seen it or whatever. So 
Uh, there you go. If you have any questions about the game, ask away. I'll be happy to answer those as best as I can. As always, thank you very much for your time. And until next time, I'm the Undead Viking telling you to have yourself one heck of an awesome day. All right. Bye-bye.